Hey everyone, ZeroJD here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of War Pips, a unit creation game where you send your units to attack the other units and they slap each other until someone's base explodes. I played a little bit of this and so far it's been pretty decent. We're gonna hop on in here. Uh, I will suggest that you play the tutorial because it will explain all the systems in play. Uh, but as you can see, we have a quick battle mode, which you probably can guess what that is. Endless mode where you actually kind of build your uh, collection of units or you pick out what you want and some upgrades and stuff like that. And then a conquest mode, which is the main mode that I've been playing here. I might have accidentally picked easy because I kind of just hammered on the A button while, while I was going through. But uh, the goal is to get from your little starting point to the uh, flag on the other side while uh, taking over areas. Uh, as you can see, there's a pretty decent amount of areas here. And uh, as you uh, just take over an area, you actually get rewards. And so your question might be, why not just go in, take care of all the areas? If you look at the top there, the enemy army strength will actually increase the longer you take. So you could get to the end and just be against a force that you just can't overtake. Uh, but let's see here. Uh, it looks like here if I win, I can get a tank, kamikaze drones, a oil rig, and then some of the basic uh, war pips, which is pretty decent. And of course, you can see the enemy units there. This one actually might here might be easier. Uh, we're going to go with this one. We're going to go right here. Uh, so the way this game works is that you actually have these units that are kind of uh, one-time use. So right now I have three of these war pips, two of these doggies, and one of these heavy gunners. So if I use one of this these guys now, or this like consumable is probably the best way to use it now, I won't have it again for the uh, next, uh, unless I get like one of them as a reward. We're actually going to go here since I actually have some uh, decent collection of units. We're going to take you, you, and you. We're going to take these missiles. I don't think they have any tank. They do have some vehicles, but they're not crazy. Uh, if you look at above this screen, kind of in the middle, I have these little tickets, and then I have these little chip things. The tickets are for this arms dealer where I can buy uh, stuff. Let's go ahead and buy this so I have a little bit of uh, income. And, of course, I can uh, sell these here. I don't really... No, I can't sell these. Oh, yes, I can. I can it be. I see the thing. The, see the thing in the upper part of the screen, and of course, then you have upgrades like here. Uh, all my constructions uh, cost less, like sandbags, turrets, stuff like that. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything right now, so we're just gonna kind of go in. Let's go. So I'm gonna pause this pretty quickly just to, so I can explain the uh, basic menus. But they explain that in the tutorial, so if you don't get it, it's actually a very good tutorial. All right, there we go. So at the top there, I actually have an experience bar. As that fills up, I get these little medals, which are actually the bottom left, the four, and I can spend them on either upgrading all of my units, up, uh, getting a quick injection of cash, upgrading that injection of cash, or I can uh, put out more units. So right now, what I'm gonna actually do is buy, get some money and then get some more units, and we're gonna send out some of these guys. Uh, each unit has a money cost and a pip cost. We're going to throw you down here real quick. And we're going to throw you down right here quick. So the other thing you can use these pips on, there they go, uh, is the upgrades. And each unit gets some bonuses with their upgrades. So for the oil, Derek, I get nothing. Missiles. So if I uh, upgrade uh, enough, I can actually get a decrease in time that it takes for them to uh, reload. I'm going to fire one off real quick. There we go. So I don't have any direct control over them, but we're gonna just keep sending guys out. So if you look in the bottom middle, you see a bar there. See how there's like some stripes in that one? That means that they're like sending out a big wave of enemies. Red means that they're gonna be sending out a lot of enemies. And right now, oh boy, they are kind of going at it. Fire off these missiles, there we go, perfect. I'm going to send out some doggies, and then we're going to send out these uh, heavy gunners, which is great. So if that bar gets all the way to the end and uh, circles around, it actually is uh, not going to be good for me. I just upgraded everyone, by the way. Go get them, doggies. These heavy gunners are great. There's also a, uh, what's it called, a um, shield unit that's really fun. And they uh, can take a lot of damage. So hit, uh, 
teaming them up with these uh, heavy gunners is great. Oh, they're real slow, though. And uh, not all units are direct attack units. Uh, one of the uh, units, like, buffs my other guys. They also carry out calling, like, uh, surface uh, airstrikes. So at the bottom, you also see a shield and a uh, lightning bolt. If I hold the left trigger, that actually kind of boosts their armor and gets them to hunker down. If I hold right, they kind of uh, go all out to uh, kill stuff. And those uh, that those are uh, that meter builds up while you kill enemies. See how they're speeding up. All right. So I think we've uh, I think we got this one. Perfect. There we go. We won. So now all those rewards are ours, but all those ones uh, that I had slotted into my uh, army are now gone. And as you can see, the army strength has uh, gone up. So I've had these kamikaze drones before. They're actually pretty good. They're just $15, and you just launch missiles, essentially, at the enemy. All right, so I think that's a hero unit. There's Those are the uh, shield units there. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Get some of these gas grenades. Do any of these give any more? Not really. So I'm, I'm kind of behind in a, between a rock and a hard place. So this would be a good one to go. So we might have to take on this one right here. All right, let's go. So what I usually like doing at the beginning of it is giving myself two shots of cash and then an extra plip or two. So send you off. Perfect, okay. Let's toss a gas grenade over here. One here and then one here to kind of weaken them up. Also, once in a while, this game will just kind of, like, stutter, and I don't know why. I'm playing on a Series S, and it's really weird. I actually don't know if that uh, those gas things will uh, harm my own units. There we go. This is perfect. There we go. Hunker down, guys. Pretty sure someone just shouted Choppa. There you go, everyone's upgraded. So for these little guys here, uh, accuracy is increased and range is increased. There we go, that's what we wanted. See, the music's pretty crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, explosions. I don't think I can fit. I think I can only fit like two of these. Whatever. We're good though. Bunker down, buddy. You got this. Oh, that dude is totally dead. Okay, we need these guys to get in cover. There's no real cover, so they're just going to kind of have to make do. All right, cool. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I picked the easy difficulty by mistake. Oh, all right, here they come. This may not end well for me. I wish I had those, those uh, gas grenades. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger unit. Luckily, luckily it looks like he's kind of stuck.
There we go. Oh, they are all stuck up in there. Oh, perfect. So we are all leveled up. Go get them, doggies. See, like right there, I don't understand what that little lag was. If the doggies get back, I get a reimbursement for them. Look at the good boys go. After this, I will quickly show you the, uh, the uh, endless mode, just to kind of explain what it is. Perfect. So I'm gonna get there before I even get to the uh, second like wave of people. Perfect, there we go. Yes, we did it. What's my mystery unit? Oh, those are just like really basic dudes who I think might even be free or not even count as a unit. All right, so also, oopsie, you actually can just save and exit, which is really nice. All right, so we're gonna go over here. So endless here. So the way this works is you actually pick a map first. Yep, all right, cool. Pick a map, let's do the airfield. So uh, see at the upper middle right, I have 350 of those things. I need to pick uh, some guys. So we're definitely gonna go with you first. Go with you, get you. Get the heavy guy. Uh, get some missiles, which are nice. So I can get some money going. We'll get a tank. And then we're gonna go to our loadout. So let's see. More experience per kill, which is nice. I don't want that. That's that one. Perfect. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Weapons range, weapon range. Move speed's really nice. You know what, we're just gonna go with everything. So that's perfect, we have a pretty decent loadout. Uh, let's go. So you notice that some of them had a little like, like pluses on them. Uh, some of the units cannot be deployed until a certain uh, like rollover stage of the other enemy units. I was talking about it earlier. That gun looks like it should be able to shoot at me from over there. So right now, only these beginning things are available. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna deploy some more pips and uh, off go the uh, fodder. Oh, they have a whole bunch of uh, mines over there. Hopefully this will be a, uh, oh, they got a shotgun gun right away. Oh, I didn't mean to upgrade. That's not gonna well. Again, there's a little weird little stutter there for no real reason. There you go, they're gonna get into cover. Uh, for those curious about achievements, most are tied to killing a certain amount of enemies with a certain, uh, like, like with airstrikes or missiles or machine guns or just kill a certain amount of units. There we go. For now, I'm just going to try to get as many units out as I can. But I, I think you get the general idea. I am ZeroJD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.